hello everyone welcome back again to another of my tutorial if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so please keep on watching so what I have here today is my scissors my ruler and this two piece of fabric which I'll be using to do my illustration so let's get started but yeah I'm just going to be using any measurement off of my head so you see this line here that is where I'm going to start my measurement from so yeah I'm going to create a neckline imaginary neckline so my shoulder length is here then I'll create a shoulder slope then my ham hole This will be my chest line. So from this spot here, my is my bust point. So yeah, I'm just going to create any ham hole uh, curve. So from this spot here is my waist line here. This will be for my waist. Let me use my ruler. This will be for my waist. So from here, from this my shoulder shoulder here to here will be my length of my blouse. So of course, remember your blouse sewing allowance at the bottom, one inch. So now I'm going to connect the lines from here to this place. So, see the line. So, I'm going to be showing you on how to create your slit or your opening on both your side of your blouse or your top or your, your, your top. So, mostly, if you can see almost blouse, it starts from the waist side. So, remember, this is my waist side, but before you put allowance, Remember your one inch for your sewing allowance first, and one inch for just follow the shape. This will be for my sewing allowance. That's my sewing allowance. Now on my waist side here, I will add two inch to it. Just take your tape measure like this. Add two inch there you can either have two inch or one inch so after doing that you just roll it down just follow the shape to mark out your allowance so you can see what i've done here so you can see on my waist side, I created an allowance for my blouse opening to be able to sew it in. So now the next step is I'm going to cut it out from here, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, to this way. You can see I've cut it out. So the next step is I'm going to cut my back panel. So I'm going to place this in like so. And when you have cut your back panel, please remember your zipper allowance. But this is just an illustration, like an example on how to create a side opening or a side state for your blouse or your top. So this is my front panel. You place it on your back panel like so. Then you trace out the shape. Always make sure you have this. So after tracing out the shape, I'm going to cut it out. So as you can see, this is my front panel and my back panel together. So the next step is how we're going to sew this slit to make it beautiful. So I'm which I'm going to show you now. So 
this is the wrong side this is the right side facing the right side so I put it like this together then remember my one inch my sewing allowance so I'm going to stitch from my ham hole to my waist line here so because this is for an illustration I'm not stitching I'm going to use my pin to show you so I'm going to pin it up from here then I also pin this side as well my one inch I take out my one inch here as well and I use my pin to hold it remember from my ham hole to my waistline I'm going to stitch to that place so I hold this as well so now after doing that I will now after I finish stitching both sides my front panel and my back panel I will now open it like this open my open like this open the side of my one inch allowance just open it like that this stitch anyway so when you open it like this I will now take out my one inch for my sewing allowance here on this side open I will now pin it see that I will do the same thing on the other side as well on this side as well after stitching I now open it as well following the line of my one inch allowance I will now stitch from there as well I'll turn to this side as well do the same thing on this other side Use my pin to secure it down. Do, this, do the same thing on this other side. Follow your one inch tip allowance. And stitch. So now that I've done that, the next step is to now flip it over. Remember, this is just an illustration. Is it like a formula on how to create a side slit for your top or for your gown or for your blouse so after doing that this is what you're going to get see your side slit inside here it's your side slit see that as well so you can see after doing that your blouse length will not be equal but when you are taking out your measurement make sure you take out the right measurement which you wish you had when you are drafting out your pattern this is extremely important so this is your side opening which you're gonna get you're gonna if you if you follow this formula you're gonna get it right and you, you won't have any regret doing that so let me flip it over to the wrong side of the fabric so if you want to so stitch the bottom what you do is now that i've attached this side the size the side openings the next step you want to stitch the bottom is you just fully take your one inch when you're drafting out your pattern and you stitch like this you now fold take one side you stitch one side all through then go to the last side the, the back panel Take your one inch for your sewing allowance and you stitch. So if you are thinking about this side, how are you going to tidy up the edges here? I did 
I did a video last week on three ways on how to tidy up your your fabric edge please have a look at that you can use that method to tidy up your fabric edge at this side so if you want to tidy up your fabric method you simply just stitch it like this and stitch or you use just look at that video you see where I show the different ways on how to tidy up for fabric at the at your edge tidy up but this is just a formula formula which you can use just to get for you to get an idea on how to create your your side you know side waist opening for your blouse or for your gun this is just an idea like a formula so my friends i hope you like this tutorial if you do please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and for now i go for now one peace one love and bye for now Bye for now.